you for that lovely introduction, Paul. Um, okay, so I first moved to Charlottesville about 31 years ago. My former husband and I, who's a landscape designer, we were, married, we were living in, uh, in London, and we started to get more commissions back in the States, and, and basically we decided, you know, time to move back. And honestly, I would have lived absolutely anywhere in the United States. But he was a little bit more focused on this. He wanted to live in a zone seven. So there are actually 12, if you don't know this, there are 12, what's called 12 hardiness zones in the United States. And this is a zone seven. And he wanted to live here because you could grow dogwood and hydrangea at the same time. Little did I know that literally the course of my life and my children's lives were going to be determined by seed germination. <laughs> but I'm glad they were. So um, fast forward about five years into living in Charlottesville, um, I was chatting with a dear friend and she's getting married and she said, you know, do you know if there are any wedding planners in town? And I said, you know, I don't. Um, but listen, you know, I used to produce live TV and, you know, at CNN, how hard can a producing a wedding be? Well, little did I know, <laughs> it's really hard. Um, but I, so I, we, we went on the journey together and, and started uh, to work on her wedding and I was lucky enough to have the confluence of, you know, this literally gorgeous day in April on this beautiful estate and a bride who had given me a lot of latitude and most importantly, she had a healthy budget which allowed me to hire vendors to basically prevent me from hurting myself. So the next day, uh, and I literally truly mean this, the next day the phone rang and somebody who was at the wedding said, you know, gosh, you know, my daughter's getting married, you know, next, uh, next June, would you be interested? And I was like, I'm not a wedding planner. And I said, but sure, I'll do it. And my very unintentional career began. All right, so now we're gonna fast forward another 10 years or so. Um, and we were talking about uh, my husband, who is now the fabulous Dean Andrews. Um, we were talking about starting a winery. And at that time, um, very spectacularly, there was a, um, a winery that was imploding. And we thought, this is going to be really hard to get capital at, at this time to start a winery. And at the same time, there was, um, there was an ad, a Schwab ad that was going around, and there were these two waspy dudes talking to each other, and, and they were saying, you know, God, can you believe my financial advisor thinks I should invest in a winery? And the other guy says, you should come with Schwab. And literally, our kids would clip this ad and send it to us once a week. So uh, we were really glad we didn't take their advice. Um, I was really looking for, you know, sort of percolating the wine idea, and I'm, you know, I turned to my husband and I said, you know, also, I don't have enough venues. We, there was a lot of demand for, you know, brides were looking at us, they graduated from UVA, the beautiful landscape, the beautiful mountains, and, and they wanted to come get married in Charlottesville. So they, uh, demand was high, but I didn't have enough luxury venues to put them in. So we put the luxury venue concept together with the winery, and Pippin Hill was born. And I feel pretty confident to say that Pippin Hill has literally been wildly successful. Um, on the wine front, we did, uh, we did uh, we've got 50 acres under vine, we produced 7,000 uh, cases of wine this year, all which were bought, hopefully consumed, um, and we did 52 weddings. It's a lot of weddings. Weddings is very big business in Charlottesville. Um, Borrowed in Blue, um, a local company here that's actually now a wedding company that actually has a big reach, um, has said that last year there were 1,200 weddings in Charlottesville, and the, ep uh, the economic impact is about $150 million. That's a lot of money. And not only is it going to the venues, which is awesome, um, and to the wineries, which is fabulous, but it also has a huge knock-on effect. It goes to uh, all of the retailers. It goes to ground transportation. It goes to restaurants. I mean, our little red pump kitchen, three blocks up in the mall, I tell you, it is hard to make money in the restaurant world. Um, and, you know, we really just, generally, restaurants have trouble just getting, you know, butts in the seats. And we, doing like three rehearsal dinners, you know, every month in season has totally changed um, our bottom line. And even, you know, Red Pump obviously isn't in the wedding world, 
but it's had tremendous benefit because we have this very healthy uh, wedding economy here. Um, I, I guess it's, it's true to say that Charlottesville's probably in the top five um, destinations, in, on, certainly on the East Coast, which is pretty amazing. And you know what's ahead of us? Charleston. Anybody here in Charles, from Charleston? Okay, so I love Charleston. We actually have an office in Charleston. But the one thing that we, the two things that we're missing in Charlottesville is we're missing luxury hotel rooms and we're missing luxury venues. And we cannot grow this industry without it. Um, as we all know, the landmark right up the road. Wasn't that a good time to take a drink? Um, you know, the landmark has caused um, lots of controversy, um, but we are really thrilled uh, that they're coming online probably before 2020. And that's going to be great for the wedding industry, and it's really going to be great for Charlottesville in general. So we feel really incredibly lucky to live in this amazing town. Um, and who doesn't want to just certainly embrace the fact that what's our tagline? Virginia is for lovers, especially in Zone 7. Thanks very much. Thank you.